Welcome to another Ceramics with Sheriff. Today we will be talking about coil pots. So coil pots are interesting because they're a really easy way to make something large without using a pottery wheel. So today we're going to go over a project and how to make a mini Greek inspired coil pot. So I drew a little sketch quick of the design I'm going for. Um, excuse me that I didn't finish my sketch. I have that drawn on paper. So I just kind of wanted to get an idea for the size that I would be doing. Um, and as you guys can see, I did this amphora. So it's that bellows shape and then it has the foot that sticks out. So if mine has a foot that sticks out on the bottom, I'm gonna start with a slab. So a slab is just a rolled out piece of clay which we'll be using in our next project. Um, we're gonna use this plastic PVC pipe that you guys have in your little kits. So basically what I'm gonna do, and the easiest way to do this is to find something circular that's gonna fit my pattern to cut around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of clay and roll it out, and that's gonna be the bottom of my project. Now you guys can see here, I kind of planned and show you guys how the coils work. So the coils you can use to slowly step out a little bit at a time and you can see the shapes kind of following this direction. So they just go out a little bit at a time, which I'll show you. Um, and then once I get to my peak point right here, where my shape starts to go back in, I start to bring those coils in a little bit to kind of bellow that shape in. So I have this just as my idea for how I'm gonna start. And then I have this to kind of think about how my coils are gonna go as I go. Um, and then what I chose to do was on a piece of paper, I drew the shape I wanted, and then I cut it out, and then I cut half that shape out of a piece of cardboard. So if we look at it this way, that's half the shape for my project. So as I go, I'm gonna check the size of it with that. Now this is a little bit tricky because I need to make sure that that centerpiece, and I can show you that. So here's the piece I cut out. Um, I don't need this piece, but basically what I'm trying to say is, if I trace this, so I'm gonna trace it quick, so my pot's gonna end up in that shape. So what I need to do is make sure that my bottom is this size. And in another video, I will teach you guys how to make the template. So I already have my template, so I'm gonna get started. Um, so what I'm gonna start with is the slab. Uh, I'm gonna change the view so you guys can see an overhead view and then we can get moving that way. All right, so to start with the slab, I'm gonna use a flat piece of clay and I can kind of pat most of it out. So I want it to be about the thickness of my finger. I don't want it to be too skinny. So what I'm gonna do is carefully take this rolling pin and I'm just gonna roll it a little bit at a time. Be careful around the edges because as you guys can see, it kind of slopes down like that. So I wanna really focus on even pressure or roll back and forth. I'm not pushing very hard, I'm just rolling a tiny bit. And as you can see, the bottom's not smooth, so I'm just gonna go roll that out. I would take my rib here and kind of scrape this smooth. Piece of cardboard's working great. Okay, so now I need to cut out my center piece. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of stick this in and making sure I stay on the center I'm going to make a plus sign. So that way, because this is only half my pot, when I put it together, that piece will be the right size. Okay? And then I'm just gonna connect a circle around the outside. So if it's easier for you guys, you can find like a cup or, excuse this being dirty. Oh, this might work perfect. Look at that. So I took a Starbucks lid. It fits pretty perfect. I'm just gonna press that in. And that's a perfect circle for me. I will take that. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my tools. So I got my needle tool. Um, I could use a metal knife, whatever works. So I'm just gonna carefully cut my circle out. And this will be my base to start off with. And I'm gonna save my extra clay that way. So I score that piece, I add a little bit of water on, smooth it on, and then I'll score this piece, the part piece that's gonna attach. Okay. 
add my water. And then what I would do is I would go and I would carefully put that coil in the spot I want. You know, too much. So what I like to do is wrap the coil over itself like that. And I like to do one coil at a time and then I just cut down at an angle, okay? You guys can see this from there. So what that does is it cuts the little extra piece off and then these fit nice and perfect together like that. So it's perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna check all four sides. That side's gonna get bumped in a little bit. Now the key to coils after I slip and score, right? What I wanna do is I just take my finger, I'll hold the outside and I push into the clay a little bit and I just squish it down. Not too much, just a little bit. You guys might be able to see this better on the outside. So you can see I just squished some of that clay down. So then on the outside, I'm gonna take my finger and do the same thing. And I'm gonna be careful, I try to be even all the way, because if I get uneven, then my shape's gonna start off uneven. Now coils can be tricky to start, but once you get going, it becomes familiar and it gets to be a lot easier and you kind of get into the, the flow of things. You can do more than one coil at once. So now that I have my pieces spread, I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna come along and smooth this all out. And the reason we make the coils about our finger is after we pinch it, we take away a bunch of that clay from both sides. So I wanna have a little bit of extra clay. Um, if, you're cl if it's too skinny, the coil, like, skinnier than my pinky, you guys are gonna have a lot of trouble when you're trying to put it together because it's gonna be very weak. So I at least wanna do the bottom with some thicker coils, kinda of like a finger length. So I'll smooth the outside, and then I'll smooth the inside. So I use my thumb or my finger, and that's a nice, smooth, even, round edge. And as you guys can see, it smooths it out really nice in there. So once again here, I just kind of take my finger, hold the outside, and smooth that together. You can use a little bit of water if that helps. My clay is nice and soft. And then I'm gonna end up messing this bottom shape up a little bit as I go. And I'm okay with that, because I'll fix that at the end. So now I got my first coil. So really the process from here on out is just adding more coils. So you guys can see in my drawing, my next coil should be a little bit out. Now what I mean by that, and once again I would slip and score, but because this is just a recycled clay for an example, I'm not going to, but I'm gonna set my next coil just slightly on the outside of my last one because I want my shape to start going out. So let's do that, give it a cut. Just like that, trying to keep it even as I go. I like to pick mine up. So you guys can see how this hangs over like that. And on the inside, it sits on the outside a little bit. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it in just like I did the first time, but the first time I went straight up and down. This time I'm gonna blend this way because I want my shape to go out. And as you can see here, I'm pretty spot on with that. So what I'm gonna do is just blend the bottom in. So it almost looks like a donut sitting on top of it. And smooth. So I'm basically making a pinch pot by adding a little piece at a time. And the cool part about it is if I add a fatter coil, I can then come around and kind of pinch my shape just like I would pinch a pinch pot. So I can pinch it out a little bit to try and get that uniform shape that I'm looking for. And then you can see mine's a little lopsided, so I'm gonna try to tilt this up a little bit, bend this part down. Perfect, so that's good. That's good. That's good. So it's good. Cool, so once again, roll another coil. So you just build a little bit, a little bit at a time. So I roll it in my hands and squeeze. And then remember, roll all the way. A lot of people tend to do this. That's what gives you that flat coil that looks like a pancake. 
that happens, you can go like this, turn it back into like a cube shape. So smack it on all four corners and then roll it. Or your other option is if you start to get a wobbly shape, give it a little twist, not too much, and then roll again. And that helps get that clay nice and even. So I made a little skinnier part here, which is okay. Um, Cause as you guys go, you'll notice I have some parts yeah, smooth that out a little more. So I'm not gonna worry about the outside being perfectly neat until later. Um, because then I'm just gonna end up messing it every time I keep building up. So I'm roughly just gonna keep building up right now. So I'm gonna keep going around the outside. I wanna put that thick part on this little short side I have here. Please remember to slip and score. I'm cheating right now for time's sake and because I'm gonna recycle this anyway. Get rid of that, boom. Just make sure I'm nice and even here. And then same method as before, smooth, smooth, smooth. So little pieces with my thumb, just pushing over that crease. And if you ever notice you're a little short or you have a tough spot, um, you can always add clay. So then on the outside here, you can see my little outside. I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth. So I'm barely dragging just a corner of my finger over that clay to get it to seal. So right now I'm gonna leave this um, a good idea is you can build a couple coils at a time and then smooth, but you want to make sure, and the tricky part is that these tend to dry quick, especially this, and I want this top part to be soft for when I attach my next one. So if I'm done for the day, I want to smooth this out before I'm done. So you can add a couple coils. So if I'm going to work for another 30 minutes, you know, I don't have to smooth it out perfect right now. I want to make sure my shape is on target. Pinch that up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go around like a pinch pot and just kind of get my shape steady. Nice and even. So I'm gonna do one more, the next one, and I'm just gonna keep doing this. So if I end up a little short and I have another piece laying around, I can attach that in there, do that. So I'm gonna keep going with that angle outside because that's the way I want my shape. So smudge, smudge, smudge. If you do tend to do it this way, where you just keep building and building and building, um, make sure you're smoothing this out before you put it away for the day. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a lumpy inside. So I just use my finger and some water, or just my finger. See how my shape's going. So uh, my shape needs to go out a couple more to like here. So I'm gonna keep going out and then I'm gonna start bringing it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple quick ones and then we'll kind of take a look at where I'm at. So let's see if I can't get a couple big coils. about good for my outside and then I'll start bringing that shape in. Cut that. And I'm gonna just finish this really quick and go with a few more coils in and then you guys can take a look at it. So my next coil I want the shape to start to go back in. So I got my shape to here. So my next coil, as you can see, the shape goes, starts to go in. In case you can't see that. So my shape starts to go back in. And then it'll go back out. So all I'm gonna do is roll another coil, but the opposite of what I've been doing. So this next coil is gonna sit on the inside instead of the outside. And I'm about to run out of some clay here, so I'm gonna have to grab some more. So this next coil is gonna sit there. A little piece. 
piece right here. So as you guys can see, that shape's gonna start to go in. Let's see if I got enough for one more, and then we can wrap up for today. And then on our next one, I'll go over how to work on smoothing out the outside and getting that all even. And as you guys can see, it doesn't look very neat right now, which is okay, because I'm working on building the size and the shape, and as long as I'm trying to keep it symmetrical, I'm good to go. Ooh, it's hot out here today. Sweat. All right, so then my next coil, let's see, my shape here goes in even more. So I'm gonna set that one on the inside. Now, and you guys can start to see, the trick becomes, I don't wanna attach that one yet, because I'm not gonna be able to reach in there. So I'm gonna take that one off for a second, and I'm gonna smooth the rest of these together. So I wouldn't ever attach more than two before smoothing them, because I'm doing three right now and it's pretty tricky. All right, so now you can see my nice ugly coil pot. So my next step then would be, let's say I'm about to wrap up. I have 10, 15 minutes before I'm done for the day. So what I want to do is just get this nice and smooth at that point. So using my fingers to start. I'm going to smooth that out. But really the best tool for this is your plastic credit card or your rib which I don't have one with me right now, so I'm just gonna use my wooden one. And I also probably don't wanna build bigger than this my first time anyway, because the clay is super soft, so the more weight I put on, the more it's gonna squish it. So I wanna let this set up a little bit. Um, and as you guys can see, it looks like a very sloppy pot right now. But what I was starting to do was smooth this out with the rib, and then I would go ahead and pinch the shape and get it nice and perfect just the way I want it. So I have some different steps here. Um, this would be the smooth step right here. I'm starting to smooth out my shape. This would be the steps before I smooth them. And then I would obviously go around and do this all at once. So smooth one coil down at a time, fill in those little gaps in between them. And then you wanna come in and kind of pinch them together. shape good and then I want to smooth them so this takes some work every day so you basically the goal is every day you add a couple coils then you smooth them out get your shape nice and good so my next job would be to get this shape nice and good so I'll be back in a minute with my shape finished you guys don't have to be watching me. all right now that you guys can see I finished smoothing out so all I used is a little bit of water my fingers to smooth out those lines and then I use this rubber rib, which is just like a credit card. And I bend it a little bit and I use it to scrape this way. And I use it this way. And what that does is helps me get that nice, smooth, even outside. So now I'm at a good spot where I can put that away. My clay is a little sticky, so I can always smooth that out towards the end. Um, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical to start. I'm going to wait to cut the bottom to do that when I'm done. But I basically have my goal, you know, that's a big, that's a lot of work for one day if I'm a student, but you guys can see how my shape's almost on point, so then I'm just going to go around and make sure that my bowl is smoothed out, and if you guys can see that, that's perfect. So then tomorrow when I come back to work on it, and I'm trying to get, I'm about here, I'm going to start bringing them coils in more, so the rest are gonna start to go inside. Once I'm here, I'm gonna start to do one coil at a time, just to help. Now what you don't wanna do is roll a bunch of coils and stick them in your bag. These will dry out and you won't be able to use them. So only use as many coils as you have. If you have extras, just squish them into a ball and put them back with your clay for the night. And if you wanna put them in a separate bag and spray a little water on them to make them nice and soft for the next day, that would be a good idea. So now that I'm here, Halfway through my pinch, my coil pot, I kind of pinched my shape back to where I wanted it to be and I can kind of smack some of the shape in and readjust that. Um, we'll come back later and we'll discuss how to finish the top and some ways to design the outside.